Welcome back to another episode of Road Patina. Today we're going to talk about what you're supposed to do as a car guy when you're quarantined at home. Now, we can be in a garage as long as it's at home, so it's time to start working on the build. As you can see, my car is still sitting here. It's not tuned. It is not ready. The last couple videos I did were the last few mods that I needed to do in order to get it dyno ready. However, Shops are closed. People are not doing business right now. If they were open, I don't even know if I'd want to go in there. I don't know if I want to risk myself getting sick, people in and out of my car, working on it. I don't know. So right now we are in a holding pattern. And this is kind of an interesting time. So if you're stuck at home as a car guy, what are you supposed to do? There is lots of things you can be doing. Yard work, laundry, helping out the wife, hanging with the kids. Yes. All those things are great. As a man, yes, do those. Also, what can we do with our cars? Well, there is lots and lots of things you could do to your car. Lots of things we've been procrastinating and putting off and not wanting to do. There's oil changes. You can rotate your tires, check the air in your tires. You can change some fluids. Hmm, what else? Ooh, detail it, vacuum it, wash it. Do your engine bay. You've always wanted to detail the engine bay. There's tons of videos on how to do it, how to make it sparkle, how to make it shine. Adjust your coilovers, get that ride height, get that stance set up. Oh boy, there's so much we can do. Now get out there and do it because it needs to be done. Working on your car a couple hours a week, for me it's literally like a couple hours a month, isn't going to do it. So take advantage of this time. We're probably never going to have it again. And it is the perfect opportunity to get your projects buttoned up. If you don't have a project, if you're just staring outside at your car wishing you had a project, now is the time to do some research because you can find cars for, I don't know, I want to say good deals, but I think we're a little too soon for that because unfortunately, whether people like to hear this or not, we are going into what is being called a global recession, global depression. And it's hard to hear. People don't want to hear it. But when you close businesses down for weeks at a time, months at a time, we don't know how long this is going to last. It really, really affects businesses. Small businesses, big businesses alike. They cannot float all their expenses, their payroll, if they're not getting paid. Government shutdowns, I mean, look at what it's doing. We're already going to get a government check to help us put money into the economy. Are we going to do that? Or are we just going to hang on to it? Everybody's going to be scared about losing their jobs. We might just hang on to that money. There's no... There's no saying whether we're going to spend it or not. So, thanks for the money. However, what are we going to do with it? Businesses are closed. What are we supposed to do? Amazon might do good. People are just going to go out and buy a bunch of stuff online. Great. Perfect. Okay. So, the recession, I believe, is coming. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am. However, there is market cycles. There's ups and downs of everything. Real estate, cars, Everything has been so inflated that it was bound to burst at some point. We're not sure what it was going to be, how it was going to happen, or when, but every 10, 12, 15 years or so, there is a market cycle. I used to sell real estate back in 2007, 8, and 9. Probably the worst time to do that. And I did it. It was horrible. It was crazy. It was like the worst recession we had since now. So I think this recession is going to hit us. I think it's going to take a long time. Once everybody goes back to work, I think we're going to still, those, I mean, those ripples are going to reach so far and wide that we're not really going to see the, the effects of this. Right now, everybody's sitting at home. Everybody's hanging out. They're trying to do work from home. I don't think we're really looking into the future. What's six months going to look like? What's a year going to look like? What is five years from now going to look like? How long is it going to take us to get this, um, to get the, the economy back on its feet? Um, so I think savvy buyers right now, if you're a car guy and you want a car and you're looking at projects, I think we need to wait. I want to buy more cars. I've been doing tons of research. Now is a good time to do research, figure out what the prices are. Right now, we are at the height of all these cars. Cars should not be as much money as they are. For example, every single Porsche minus, I don't know, the 996s is so elevated right now. I mean, these cars should not be that much money. 924s, 944s, 914s, 912s. Who ever thought a 914 or a 912 would ever be worth what the money is right now? 912s are crazy right now. 911s, I mean, just 
993s, not 911s in general, but 993s. Anything air cooled is crazy. Look at the turbos, 996 turbos, 50, 60 grand. 997 turbo, 75, 85 thousand dollars for these cars. I mean, things are so much money right now. Housing, everything. Everybody wants to buy a house right now. It's it's crazy. Everything is so elevated. Also, a few more cars that I've been watching that are super expensive that you never thought were ever going to be expensive. The Dodge Viper. Just recently, the first, second gen Dodge Vipers have gone have gone. I mean, not crazy, but there's so much money compared to what they used to be. S two thousands. I mean, come on, hundred and twenty thousand mile S two thousand for fifteen grand. Fifteen grand. NSX's sixty, seventy thousand dollar cars. If you're under a hundred thousand, hundred and fifty thousand mile cars are still fetching forty thousand dollars. That's crazy. Integra Type R's, twenty five grand, thirty thousand dollars for an Integra Type R. Oh my gosh! Come on, seriously. Oh, a few other ones that are just mind blowing. That there's so much money for what you get. I mean, E thirty M threes. The Evos, Evo 9s, Evo 8s, why are these cars so much money? Because the Mitsubishi decided they don't want to make them anymore? Okay, that doesn't make the car worth $30,000. Oh gosh, I mean, I can go on and on. The DeLorean, I mean, anything gated nowadays, gated exotics, Murcielagos, Gallardos, uh, 360 Ferraris, gated, how are they so much money? That's what I'm saying right now. Pick some cars you want to watch. Right now, price them out because right now we are at the top of the market. I believe this is going to burst. Everybody's flattening the curve. I think every curve is going to be flattened. Exotic cars, collector cars, cars are not an investment. Please look at them as a liability. They're not an asset. They're not going to pay you every month. Cars are going to cost you money every single month until you sell it. Now, if you are lucky and you pick something very special, very rare, don't put any miles on it, put it in the garage. Basically, don't enjoy it at all just sit there and look at it it might go up and at that time if you do make some money off of it it may have been an asset however you have to take into account inflation what else you could have put your money in if you could put get five percent a year in on your money in the stock market is that car going to do that much with inflation i mean you have to you have to weigh your options here I personally don't buy cars as investments. I think they should be enjoyed. They should be driven. If you make money off of it, if you break even, great. But you have to consider what your money could have been done, could have done for you in other uh, investments, real estate, how any kind of lots of great housing opportunities are, should be coming up. If if you know people, I don't. Want, I mean, I'm, I feel bad saying it, but people start losing their jobs, losing their houses. That's going to deflate the uh, the real estate game huge, especially in the coastal cities and places that are really desirable. I mean, watch the housing prices. There's just, I mean, there is a lot of uh, opportunity now, unfortunately. But I mean, great businesses come out of depressions and recessions. If you want to start a business, think of something that's going to be recession proof. What do people need? What kind of commodities do we have to have? Um, if you can make it good in a recession, you're going to be able to make it good, make it really good when the economy is great and strong. Um, construction businesses, for instance, I mean, they're going to be the they're going to be one of the first companies to tank. People are going to stop uh, remodeling their houses. They're going to stop rebuilding and do infrastructures in cities. So, uh, think about what you want to do. I think now is a good time to really pay attention to um, market, uh, different ventures, different places to put your money. I'm looking at cars. There's a few that I mentioned before that I'm really going to be watching to see if they come down in price. And if they are, maybe I'll jump on it. Hopefully, I still have my job. Hopefully, there's still uh, income because right now, I mean, nobody knows exactly what's going to happen. People are, are buying necessities right now. They're not buying recreational vehicles. They're not buying fun things. They're not going on vacations. Have you seen the trips to like Cancun in Mexico? 199 bucks, and they're going to send you to Mexico for five days, six days for you know at a beautiful four or five star resort. I mean, airlines. Look at the sales they're doing. Gasoline is down. I mean, people are hunkering down, and this is serious. This is a great thing for them to do because it's just a scary, scary time right now. Um, I don't think we're quite at the bottom. I think savvy buyers will buy at the bottom. Right now, we are, st the curve is starting to change. I think um, it's kind of like a cruise ship. It takes a really long time to turn it around, but I think it is turning around. So if there's a house you were looking at, I mean, cars, I mean, you want to build, I mean, wait, wait it out. 
Right now is a great time, I think, to be building a car. If you already have a project car, I mean, look at the sales. I'm already being getting emailed daily with 20% off sale, 15% off sale, quarantine sale. Oh, look, uh, tax refund sale. I mean, there's huge sales going on. And guess what? When, when companies aren't selling things, they are going to need to offer sales, offer discounts. They need to move inventory in, in order to stay in business. Also look for closeouts um, of things, of businesses that are closing. They're going to be shutting their doors. So, sorry, this was a bit of a rant, but I just want to encourage people to do some research. I mean, I mean, don't be crazy with your money, but if you do have some extra money to spend, or if you know you're looking at, you know, motorcycles or cars or something that you've been keeping your eye on, dream cars. I mean, let's get a Countach. That'd be freaking amazing. I mean, who would have thought those cars would have skyrocketed as much as, much as they did over the past five, ten years? They have gone through the roof, and all these people that buy high. Are gonna? I think they're really gonna gonna eat it on this one because me with my money, even in investments and and the stock market, I always like to buy low, sell high. I mean, it seems very common. It seems like common sense. People have a hard time with it. Uh, Tesla, for example, when the skyrockets, you know, it's like seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a stock. People think, wow, this is going through the roof. I have to buy. They see everybody else buying. They buy, and guess what? A couple days later, it starts to go down, and then they lose their money, they get scared, they sell. So you're doing it wrong. You have to buy low and sell high. Right now is a good time to invest in stocks because we are really, really down. I mean, just watch the news, turn on the TV, see how far we are down in the stock market. I bought some stocks, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't have any intentions of selling them in the next six months, couple months. I could hold on to them for years, and that's what you gotta do, you buy low, Hang on to it, sell high. So, sorry for the rant. I think this is a good time for everyone to really uh, think about what they want to do. If there's a channel you want to start, if there's a business you want to start, I mean, you have time. I have a wife, I have a son at home. It's hard for me to even get out to the garage and I'm sitting at home all day. I still am working from home. So, that comes first. And then we got family, we got other obligations to take care of. So, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Um, I'm all ears. I have a lot of free time right now, so I might be making more of these videos. Uh, I could go on about the cars that I am thinking about and why I'm thinking about buying them and what they're going to do for the channel. Uh, if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to bring you in on that and help have you guys give me some ideas. I've probably looked at every single performance, fun, enjoyable car from like the 1990s forward. Maybe I missed a few. I mean, I've looked at tons of them. So I think I might do that. might start uh, doing some videos if I can't get any parts, if I can't work on this car. i got to do something to keep myself occupied. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you're new, I really appreciate you to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Let's chat. Hit the like button. And I'll see you next time.